Seven years after a sectarian mob attacked him and left him for dead, London dairyman Paul McCauley remains in a persistent vegetative state, unable to move or to communicate. Despite that, the Social Security Agency has written and asked his family if he's fit for work. His father, Jim, says the agency is insensitive and must review its procedures. Our viewers may find some of the images in Mark McFadden's report distressing. It was July 2006 when Paul McCauley was attacked by loyalists. He'd been at a barbecue in Derry's Waterside area. The Catholic civil servant sustained severe brain injuries. He now can't move and needs 24-hour nursing care. Despite his dreadful condition, though, his father has received letters from the Social Security Agency asking if Paul is able to work. We had a form with over 30 questions, uh, and each answer basically required the same answer. Uh, you know, Paul's in the vegetative state, and uh, it was quite distressing to write that down uh, so many times. The Macaulays filled in the form, repeatedly stating Paul's condition. They even sent the agency neurological and GP reports. But they received another letter, again asking if Paul was fit to work. It highlighted the absence of Paul to have to sit down and write so often in a form that Paul was in, in such a poor state. Despite being the innocent victim of a sectarian mob attack, Paul McCauley's 24-hour care has to be paid for out of his own civil service pension. It was a murder, but uh, Paul was left uh, for dead, uh, had to be resuscitated on three occasions. And sadly, the majority of those involved are still walking the streets. But Paul continues to pay the price, as do you and your family. Yeah, and uh, Paul continues to pay the price financially, but worst of all, uh, physically and, and mentally in the condition that he's in. Only one man has been jailed for attacking Paul McCauley, despite repeated appeals for information and a seven-year police investigation. The other members of the gang have never been brought to justice. Mark McFadden, UTV Live, Derry.